septic. So that sewer line comes out here. It's gonna go to the septic tank here, and then a line's gotta come down here and go, can't really tell, but they got some lines drawn. Those are gonna be the leech lines. So they're doing their thing and uh, digging pretty carefully right there and the elevations and all that stuff. There's the plans. So that's where the tank's gonna be. So it's looking pretty good. I will update. So just used some uh, orange paint here to approximate where I put the water line. Looking back, I should have uh, I should have put a bunch of flags up. You know, it didn't really it didn't really dawn on me that the leech lines for the septic would have to cross over it. So I watched some of my old videos, and they did help a lot. Um, I have a pretty good idea of where that water line is, but when he's going to put the septic in over here, he's going to put a drain line, a leech line. I really don't, man. I really hope he doesn't hit it. Even though you know it wouldn't be that hard to fix. He's got a backhoe. We could dig a huge hole. It's just like every time I break a water line, sediment ends up in there and then the sediment gets into the sprinkler solenoids and valves and crap. So um, I should have put up flags. That's one lesson I really learned. So he's up here uh, digging for the tank right now. Um, he just shot the elevation so we know exactly where to put it to keep that slope going on the, uh, on the sewer line. You know, this is this is the box, so I know the pipe's right there. That's no problem. And I kind of follow it down, and I, I know it curves a little. So, there's the tank. And there's the hole. He moves dirt a lot faster than I do. That's for sure. Sweet. So let me uh, get on the safe side of business here. <laughs> Man, I make a tiny little trench and they sh crunch in this big one so fast it's sweet. Um, but as you can see, he's digging the hole for the tank right now. So that's going to be good. There's the existing sewer connection. Don't know if you can quite see that, but there it is. Then using the similar laser, just making sure it slopes away pretty good. So it's getting there. Um, got the adapters here. It's pretty much going to do the same thing that I did over there to those ones uh, with this 24 inch riser and uh, the lids. So that's turning out sweet. Now I gotta go uh, teach my class and come out later in a few hours and see what the progress is when we're on break at two. So until then. All right, trench got a lot bigger. Hole got a lot bigger for that tank. That's, shoot, I don't know, 10 feet deep-ish. So, uh, it's good, I mean, this big hole didn't hit any, really any rocks that slowed him down. There's the big pile of dirt. There's the pea gravel for the backfill. And uh, we gotta knock these rocks out of here to make room for this tight line, which is gonna come around. It's got a little bit more of a bend than I really wanted, but we're gonna put a clean out right here on the edge and then go down to here and then the leech lines will, you know, go out and just hoping that we don't hit that pipe. I had forgot about this pipe that feeds that tank. So that was uh, that was my fault for not even marking it. I thought it was I thought it was over there a little bit. I think the regular water pipe's over there, but this one I added later. I forgot it was that far off. Um, so I gotta fix that. But it's looking pretty good otherwise. Still got quite a bit to do today though. And I gotta go back and do my class. It's uh, it's about 2:50.
All right, I went into my class. By the time I got out of here, everybody was gone. So we got. Okay, septic day two. So the guy on the yellow is holding an elevation stick down in the trench and he's bouncing it off that laser. That's gonna tell him the depth. The guy in the backhoe is digging until the guy in the yellow tells him that's deep enough. So they're setting the slope gradually. Um, so basically the sewer, it's whatever, the sewage, whatever's in the sewer pipe, water, toilet paper, etc., is all sloped out of the house and it's gonna go to here, even a little closer. That's gonna come out and um, it, it's got a little bit more of a bend in it than I would have really liked, but it's gonna be a gradual bend. So it kinda, kinda would like it straight. But it's gonna come out, go into the, right here, do a gradual, a gradual bend, go into the tank. The tank is gonna start as liquid and yucky stuff. It's gonna flow through to become a liquid. And then the liquid, when it gets full enough, is gonna spill through that tube, that pipe, and then come around to these, it's this tight line. So the tight line is just gonna be draining the broken down liquid by bacteria that used to be waste still kind of waste but it's watery now and then that's this has got a, a gentle fall then the fall kind of picks up the fall has to pick up because we need to get it down there it'd be nice to have it consistent but um we definitely had to uh you know drop it pretty quick then right here it's going to go a little further there's going to be a box a distribution box and then the um leech lines are going to go down like this i think at least two or four there's gonna be two long ones but I think we may change to four short ones um, and so that has to be at a nice gradual slope if it's too steep it's just gonna run it's just gonna run out the end of it but if it's at the right slope it's gonna run kind of slowly and a little bit will go out one perforation a little bit out the next a little bit out the next and it'll just kind of um, gradually make a percolation and not a big uh, puddle or like a really bad wet spot It'd just be kind of overall damp so those leach lines need to be backfilled with this um, pea gravel this tank hole needs to be backfilled with the pea gravel um, and so that's the deal um, and then that riser is gonna get put on here so the cap is flush so if it ever needs to be serviced you don't have to dig anything up or do anything weird this is the way better way to do it um, back over here at our first septic it was covered by like a foot or so maybe a little more of dirt and that's not that much dirt but when it's the middle of summer and we had just moved in it was rock hard I had to chip away at it with a big um, bar and a pick and you know try not to slam it so hard that I break the concrete lid it was a nightmare and that's why I converted that one to the flush tops um, as well so um, coming along we'll update probably later in the day or maybe tomorrow because I don't have that much time before I have to go to work today. So, as you can see, this is a joy to dig. And big rock right there. For sure. Day three. These guys are hustling. 
it's just a lot of work. So those are the two trenches for the leech lines. They've already got the, um, I don't know what they call them, the little diffusers, the little sections of uh, these things in there. But he's got to do a little, a little bit more, and then still got to do the pipe, you know, the drain pipe and stuff, as you see. A lot of stuff, it really is. It's pretty early. They'll probably be, he said he'll be done today, um, which is good because we have inspection on Friday. So that gives us a little leeway in case anything weird happens. So that's our update. All right, well, the septic excavation phase is done. Um, that stuff hasn't changed. This down here is a little different. I'm gonna slide down this hill. It's, it's steep and it's loose. So, the uh, tight line for the septic is gonna come down here after the tank. So this will be like liquid, waterish. We'll come down to here, go into this chamber, go into the next chamber. Let me jump this trench. <clears throat> I'm gonna jump right in between those two. So, one chamber, the other chamber, I believe this is 80 feet or 100 feet, I think 80, but then they they had to do little steps occasionally, so I think it stretched out to over 100. Um, so this is a pretty big job. I, I'd consider this to be a pretty big job. But he did, he did give me a good price, um, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, originally our deal was I was going to backfill it and I was kind of looking at this and I thought about it our original deal I was going to say 500 bucks to backfill around the tank the pipe all these chambers and all this stuff and I talked to him and I said you know there's there's ways that I can make 500 bucks up I'll go work on something or whatever um, I'm gonna have him backfill it for a couple reasons these uh, being plastic it's pretty important that we get the pea gravel on the sides um, and compacted so that it's gonna be giving it good support because if I drive over this or whatever with the machine I don't want to collapse these and the same with the tank um, the tank definitely needs to be very leveled and have a lot of pea gravel support on the bottom and the sides and some on the top and then the dirt's got to get compacted and not just driven over like hosed and worked through and wet and run over with big equipment. So even though I have a bunch of uh, toys here, um, he's just much more well equipped to do the, to do the uh, backfill. So I'm going to have him do it. So I'm down here just making a plan right now. Um, this pipe, I have to connect back up, that got cut through, no big deal. Um, and I got another one on the top. So this will probably conclude the septic, I'll call loosely, um, excavation. And then I'll, I'll make another video where the pipes are being hooked up and backfilled and stuff. So, there you go.